Hey guys, J-Man here. Okay, uh, let's talk about ISOM number one. So this is the first of a new, basically, universe of comics, uh, independent comic. Uh, it's from Ripperverse Comics. So um, Ripperverse, I, he, he has, uh, his name is Eric July. Eric July, I guess he's the writer. He has a channel. Um, I actually, I don't, I, I'm not a subscriber of his channel. And I think it's like politics, but I'm not 100% sure. I guess there, I guess he covers a lot of comic book stuff as well. So I've seen some of his comic book videos. But um, so full disclosure, I bought this with my own money. I, I, do, I did buy a signed copy. I, uh, I have no affiliation with Eric. I have seen some of his videos, so I know of him. I, I'm not oblivious to who he is. Um, most of the times when I've gone to the videos, it's usually, I think, some like politics and stuff like that. I don't know if it's exactly politics, but I'm Canadian, Great White North. <laughs> um, and I'm not a political guy at all, man. Like, sorry. I don't know anything about American stuff. Like we we have more than two parties here in Canada, and even with that, like I, it's like I'm always confused on who I should vote for. So like literally day before elections, I go on. There's this thing. It's like a compass calculator. You just type like it asks you all these questions, and you say where you feel like strongly agree, disagree, whatever, and then it kind of tells you here's who your your thoughts align with. So man, I I'm I I don't know anything about this stuff. So I'm not affiliated with this. Uh, this I did not get this copy to review it. I um, I bought it with my own money. Sean also got one as well. I got a signed one. So with shipping, with shipping um, and converting to American dollars, it came out to about ninety bucks Canadian. So unfortunately, I I just don't think I can afford getting these going forward. Um, I would definitely consider doing like if they did PDFs or something digital. Uh, but because this is a new universe and I do like to try out new books that come out, I thought, let's get this. And there was, there has been some, I guess, controversy with this. I don't know why this is not controversial at all. Like there's no politics in here. I don't think there is, um, or at least none that I can detect. So I, I do like, um, there's a page here. I don't know where it is respect respect the source material no uh there's a page in here where they tell you i think it's in here or maybe it was on the website where eric eric july tells you his sort of his like it's like the customer's always right i'm one of those you know that kind of a thing so i actually really like um the way he phrased that entire thing and um, I will be honest with you, look, man, Marvel and DC, it's been kind of going down, right? I stopped collecting a lot of uh, Marvel comics. I only collect New Mutants. That's the only comic I'm collecting. That's because I'm an X-Men guy and I kind of want to continue with New Mutants. The X-Men self-titled book, I do get in digital, but that's it. That's it for all of Marvel. For DC, action comics, Superman is my favorite character of all time in any form. I'll never stop getting Superman, even though I did not like this current storyline. And even though um, I don't like the son of kal -El, I didn't read that. But Superman, like Clark Kent, regular Superman, I, I'll always get. And I've always gotten Wonder Woman, so I'll continue with that. And Batman. Um, so Batman I'll get on digital. Action Comics, I buy the physical book. And Wonder Woman, I do buy the physical book. Other than that, I only get Spawn and uh, image-related stuff. I just can't get into it. I, I was heavy DC Marvel. If you know from my previous channels and video, my previous videos, I just wasn't liking it. Um, and they just felt like they weren't really going anywhere. So I was looking for something new. Thought I'd check this out. It was pricey, yes. Um, was it worth 90 bucks? I'm going to say no because, I mean, it's 90 bucks. So the problem is, is that the shipping and conversion is the killer on something like this. So definitely if there's PDFs offered, that would be a, a more realistic approach. I, I'm not against paying for, for material, for comics, but I just can't afford to do something like this every time. But I thought getting a signed one would definitely be worth it for this first outing, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna review this using my space system, and um, I have no affiliation with uh, Eric July. I ha also have uh, no affiliation with anybody who's against him. 
I've seen some stuff through my subscription uh, of this. Like I was, I'm getting email updates and there was stuff where people weren't reviewing it or they weren't allowed to post a review or something. I think that's absolutely sickening and it like disgusts me. We need to be able to talk about these things. And if you don't like this comic, then say you don't like it and give your points. And that's fair. If you love this comic, say why you love it and give your points and that's fair. Trying to ban someone from even talking about a comic is not helping the comic industry. So I don't like that at all. Um, so yeah, I do not agree with that kind of thing. I think it's terrible. I hate censorship, all that stuff. So it's definitely sickening to think that there's people out there that you can't even post a picture to say, hey, I got this. Um, when this isn't even controversial at all. I read the whole thing. It, it, it's, it's, it's like standard superhero stuff. It, there's nothing controversial me, me, well, that I noticed. I noticed nothing controversial. Maybe someone else noticed something. I typically don't notice those kinds of things unless it's blatant, like She-Hulk episodes where they literally like say men suck and it's just like so bad. Something like this, it's, I didn't notice anything. Okay, so we're introduced to a few characters. Oh, sorry, no, I'm gonna do my space thing. So space stands for story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each one of those categories gets a score between zero and two. Two meaning that it's awesome, zero means it's bad. So if you were to give one to every category, you'd get a five out of 10 comic. A five out of 10 comic is a good comic. That's it. Five out of 10 is good. Six out of 10 is, yeah, that was really good. Seven, eight, nine, 10, that's where you're getting really, really good. Now this one is a bit tough because this is all there is. So usually when I use the space the space method of reviewing, I uh, I compare it. So I won't. I'm not comparing this to Alan Moore Swamp Thing or Starman or Dark Knight Returns or Watchmen or something. That's not how I'm comparing this. Um, normally, what I would do is compare it to others from Ripaverse. So if Ripaverse had five comics, I would compare this one to the other Ripaverse comics. This is gonna be really tough. And unfortunately, because it's the first, it's going to be ranking a bit lower than you would expect, but I don't have anything to compare it to. So I have to compare it to itself. I'm reviewing this within a vacuum. Unfortunately, that's just how that works out. Once there's a second issue, then I can be like, okay, where is this going? And do I like where this is going? So the story right now, uh, I'm going to be giving it a one out of two. One means the story was good. So that means that it kind of held my interest. But when I got to the end, I have to now decide, would I buy an issue two? And I think that I would buy an issue two, but I would not buy an issue two for $90. Now that was the signed version. The non-signed version is the one that Sean got and Sean paid 71 or something like that, 72 bucks. Canadian. Would I buy issue two of this for 70? No, I would not. Um, it's just too much for me. Uh, I, 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 you know, that's as simple as that. I can't, I can't justify paying that. Would I buy issue two of this for your standard price, which is I think $35? Mm, yes, I would buy issue two for the standard price minus the shipping without Canadian, if it was 35 Canadian, like how it is on the website in American, I would definitely get issue two to continue to see what happens. Taking 35 bucks, transitioning it into, a, into Canadian, you're around 50 bucks. Would I spend 50 bucks for issue two? No, I would not. Um, because I like the story, but I wasn't dying over it. I still feel that it is the way that sort of modern comics are. This doesn't have any politics in it. doesn't have any like wokeness or any of that, those weird things that people are just really turned off by. Um, it doesn't have any of that, but it doesn't have anything for me that got me really excited. I thought this was cool, but this wasn't like, oh, God damn, I got to get the next one. Like I've been reading Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes from like the 60s. And I'm like, wow, I got to get the next one. This is so cool. That wasn't there. I may not be the target audience for this. I'm actually more of a fan of like Bronze Age. I like brawl books is what I call them, the Bronze Age brawlers, where it's like, there's a fight, 
there's action. Most of the things revolve around an action or a fight or a villain of some kind. This is building the story, but this is what I was saying in the beginning of this video, which is making it tough to give it any more than a one. It just started. So maybe issue two, three, four, it'll get better. But unfortunately, because of the price point, I just can't get there. If they do digital comics, and even if they said, let's do $10 digital PDFs, then I would for sure try it out for that. Um, I don't mind digital. I, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me as long as I can read the comic. I, I do buy physical books for my collection purposes, but I'm okay with physical comics. I'm, I'm okay with digital. The pacing, I'm going to give the pacing, I'm going to give it a one and a half. So I actually wasn't bored. I thought the pacing was good. So that's a one. But as I was reading, I thought, you know, I'm going to give it a 1.5. It's not a two. A two means I, I breeze through this. I thought, wow, this is the damn best thing ever. I'm not, it's not, it's not quite there yet, but it held my interest enough to make me continue on. And, the, and I thought that the pacing was pretty good. We got a good, a little bit of action, a little bit of story, a little bit of character, which I'll get to. And um, I, so I thought it was one and a half. So that's, that's pretty good for a first book. The art, I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to give it one and a half. I'm going to give it one and a half for the art. Now I'm going to show you some of the insides. So one and a half, right? I like the colors in this. Um, and I do like some of these panels. Like, see, that's kind of cool, right? Um, okay. I like the way that the characters look like, you know, the girls look like, the girls look like they're tough and good. Like you've got regular people. You always judge by regular people. That's where you really judge your, your art by because, you know, superheroes always look cool. Like, look, that looks cool, right? That, you're, you're not going to make that not look cool. But even the regular people, like, do they do they seem like regular people? And yeah, I think that they do. Um, we've got some homeless guys over here. We have our, our, our main character, Avery, who's kind of just walking around the streets. So, you know, you got vehicles and stuff. They didn't, they didn't try to shy away from anything. You got a good, some good fights here. Some, you know, the panels are decent. I, I didn't give it a two because I do feel that it's a little bit panel-y. I mean, it's a comic book, but I'm kind of a 90s. I like the 90s and manga aesthetics where like sometimes you'd have like just crazy panels or all zigzaggy. Um, like for example, like, you know, Gunslinger Spawn. Uh, I like the way that that's kind of done. But it's a bit panel-y, so I didn't give it the full two, but one and a half. Um, for characters, I'm going to give it a one. Now, this is a problem with new comics. Yet again, how can I give the characters more than a one? I just, I just met them. So a one means that I think the characters are interesting and have potential. That's all I can say, because I don't know. I don't know, am I going to like Avery? He's fine in this comic, but he's only just starting out. Um, I don't know where where this is going to go. He's got the, the, the sister he's looking for. We've got these Alpha, uh, Alpha Core, I believe was the name. Where are those guys? They look pretty cool, hold on. Alpha Core, here you go. So see, like, this was introduced, but how can I rate these characters? I can't give them any more than a one because I just met them. So I'm going to give it a one. Um, for enjoyment, enjoyment um, is just a category that's very loose. It's just an opinion. And I'm going to give it a one. So I'm going to give this ISOM number one, six out of 10. So six out of 10 by my rating system is actually good. And it's pretty good for, uh, for a beginning universe. So that means that I'm definitely interested in continuing on, but not at the price point of getting the physical comics. It just can't happen. So a couple of other random points. There's some characters introduced at the end here that's a, they're a band. I mean, there's not spoilers. I'm just going to show you guys. There's like this band here. And like, for example, I thought they could have been introduced a bit cooler. Like they're doing this rock song. They're like, okay. And they're like, yeah, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're a rocker band. Like I would have almost, you know, like had like more of an action thing happening like right away. I think if I was going to do something like this, I would have probably either just did I sum number one and just have it only about him and have it like be half this book and half the price or release maybe alpha core. Like let's say there's another, there's a female character 
I don't remember her name, so that's that's not that's not good. I don't remember her name. I just read this the other day. This girl. She looks cool though. So again, artist wise looks very good. It look right, design wise looks good. Character wise, I don't know this character. We she's done nothing, right? So I don't know. So um yeah, I would have I think I would have gone for more of an action route, like the way that they do like with Image Comics, I know people kind of laugh at Image, but they did beat DC one time. And they're still the at least in the top three or four public. I think they're the number three publisher, I, I think, still, right? I like that style of bringing big, heavy, heavy action to start with. And we learn about the characters through having action. Because even if you don't like the characters, you're still reading an action comic. So that kind of helps it go. That helps it go. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not a comic. I've created comics. I, I'm a, I've written stories. I've written, you know, short stories and, and stuff like that. So that's just the way I would have done it. I would have maybe had four titles, four launch titles, or if it was just going to be one launch title, then maybe even do an anthology. But I do like the way that they put this together. So I'm not complaining about that. I still feel that it was, it could have been a little bit slower. I think the pacing could have been a bit better and given us a little bit more. So that's where I'm at with ISOM number one. This is a completely honest review. I'm not endorsed by anyone from uh, this company and I have nothing against the creators at all. Um, in fact, the, the few times that I have seen Eric's videos on YouTube, I've pretty much agreed with what he has said according to comic books when he said there was too much, too much focus on you know having the wokeness and, and, and sort of that kind of thing there's too much focus on that and not enough focus on telling the story this does not have any of that this is telling you a story um my thing is is that i need to see where this goes right so i'm with i'm kind of there like i'm not i'm not in first class <laughs> i'm not i'm not in i'm not in you know like the regular seats I'm kind of like on a train, so I'm kind of gonna get there. I need a little bit more time to get there, but it's a new universe. Um, you know, I'm gonna continue it on. If there is PDFs, I will for sure continue it on. If there is no PDFs and the price points are still gonna be that high, I may have to bow out, which would be unfortunate because I would like to continue this, but... Um, we're gonna have to see how it goes guys okay i tried to keep this as honest and down the line as possible i i don't i don't want any controversy uh, surrounding this video this is a comic book fan's opinion of a comic book take it for what it is this is not a political endorsement for eric this is not saying he sucks from what i've seen from the videos i've seen he seems to be a stand-up person who says what he believes in. And if you're not on board with that, I don't think he's against you. I don't know. Anytime he's talked about comics, it sounded good to me, right? Like it sounded like someone who knows what they're talking about. Cause I feel the same way with most of the comic. I would say 90% of the comics for me have gotten not have gotten bad. There's reasons for that. We're not going to get into more than just the woke reasons, mostly also because the stories go nowhere. And you read a comic and you feel like nothing's happened. And <clears throat> stuff did happen in this. <laughs> I wish a little bit more had happened. That's kind of where I'm at. That's sort of like the, the takeaway from this. But I still enjoyed it. Six out of 10 is a great score. I just gave Gunslinger Spawn like an eight or a nine out of 10. And that's like Spawn, who's like one of my characters from like day one. So anyways, guys, that is it. Thank you so much. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys thought. Were you pumped for this? Are you going to get the next one? Uh, I think it's going to be a different if you're in the States. If you're in the States, you're probably not paying very much for shipping at all. And you're not converting the dollars. So I think for you guys, you're going to be a lot more um, enthused uh, for this thing. But uh, for sure, let me know your thoughts below. And I appreciate your time. And that's it. All right. Until next time.